For the past 14 years, Let's Play's main aim and main objective is to be getting kids active, you know, getting kids out of the couch and getting them active in schools around the country. But what about the teachers? What lasting legacy do we have? So, as we've teamed up with UNICEF to actually implement this program, one of the things that we looked at was teacher training. You know, we come to schools, we implement this program of getting kids active, yet, and then we leave, we leave nothing behind. So, what then we've decided to do along with UNICEF, our partners for this program, is to implement a teacher training element to this program. Here we are today at Rosendale Primary School, winners of the 2016 Let's Play Physical Education Challenge. Uh, we're using these facilities to implement the teacher training uh, uh, element of it. So teachers are here today and in day one, uh, getting to learn, you know, just a few uh, new programs that they can implement within the schools and for their kids to actually get active. So one of the main things is uh, we've now kind of implemented in the program is to a teacher element of it is to get teachers, you know, equipped with the latest, um, the latest methods and methodologies of implementing physical education challenge. And it's what they're busy with. So hopefully, you know, they'll be able to get their kids active and uh, we continue getting more and more kids across the country being active. From Uppington, the team headed to the Postmasburg Cricket Club for the next teacher training session for the educators from all the surrounding schools in the area. The theory lessons were then followed by practical sessions on the sports field. It was well above my expectations. Normally you get to these sessions and you just go through motions. That's all that you knew and practiced before. Coming here, new eye-opener for me. In terms of social and the area where we are, so important. We don't have extramural activities beyond the school. Uh, we don't have entertainment, and therefore physical education becomes the thing if we want to track and keep learners on track. Equipment received. The one thing that I know now already is that it's going to impact very positive in terms of physical education as I will have now better ways of engaging learners throughout the period, whether it's a 30-minute period or whether it's a 60-minute period because of the sizes of the classes. I learned a lot of new games here, I learned a lot of new skills here. And these skills that I never practiced before, which I can now implement because I've got equipment. So the Get Savvy Walker Bay Sevens tournament was born two years ago by two um, local business people here in Amanus and sports enthusiasts. And we decided to host a tournament in Amanus for netball, rugby, hockey and dodgeball. And um, as part of giving back to sport, we decided to host the, the development clinic right here with the Get Savvy Walker Bay Sevens. It's our second year running the Get Savvy Walker Bay Sevens and gratefully it has doubled in size. We've got 180 kids coming here today to learn from the best um, athletes. We've got netball, so we've got the Southern Stings here, uh, Mandalena Manis and um, Shannon Bartlett will be doing our netball development clinic. They'll be on the netball court and then we've got the SA hockey coaches and provincial SA hockey players doing our hockey development up at the Astro. And then um, Devet Barry himself will be doing our rugby development down at the rugby field. Age groups are from seven years old to 18 years old. We decided to open it up for anybody who wanted to come through, any kid that wanted to come through um, and just manage that. Um, we've got the good team of people assisting the coaches and um, to make sure that that's run nice and smoothly. I'm so proud that Let's Play has, has uh, partnered with us with this tournament because, you know, Anything that, that we can do to get our children away from computers and off the streets, it's so important that we need to motivate, we need to inspire, we need to lead, we need to show these kids that this is where it needs to be, this is where they need to be. They need to be on the rugby fields, they need to be on the netball courts, and they need to be on the hockey fields. If they're playing sports, if they're looking after themselves, if they're living a healthy lifestyle, they're not on the streets, they're not causing nonsense, they are making the right decisions for themselves. 
this is such a great opportunity for the players from the Hermanas area to, um, to um, you know, get coached by players who are playing at the elite level. Shannon and Mandy both took part in the TNL that took um, part earlier this year. Um, and so, yeah, they are just making them aware of the type of training we do with them when we are training at the Southern Stings. And so, yeah, this is a great opportunity for the, for the youngsters of the Hermanas area to get exposed to these type of training. I am very proud to be a part of the Get Savvy Walker by Sevens and today we are here with the kids, younger kids with the netball and I'm just going to help coach them. You know, they recognise phases and they told me they love netball so they just it's nice for them to meet us, to see us play on court so it's what they want to become one day so they, I think that's why they want to um, get our help and be assisted with the netball and skills. We're just here in um, conjunction with the Walker by Sevens. Uh, Jan Hen and his team um, put together um, since last year. And we're also doing a little bit of development today and a bit of coaching um, and helping some of the local boys. Yeah, I think it's just good, you know, it doesn't matter where they're from. I think, you know, it's just uh, compliments to the gentlemen that came out, you know, to, to come and join us to, to hopefully learn something and to enjoy a little, nice day out on the field. You know, it's um, always a nice opportunity to have um, different coaches there. You know, you learn something new, something new, something fresh. Um, and I hope that the guys and the boys enjoy it today and then hopefully learn something and take something back to their own clubs. Rugby especially is a wonderful sport uh, that gives camaraderie, you know, and, you know, you're playing for each other. Um, and then win or lose, you know, you're, you're becoming mates, you know, all over the world when I played, you know, you still have all those mates and you're very confident and easy to phone them up, you know. So that's something that, um, that rugby can offer you and obviously also um, take you to different places, you know. If you're successful, you know, you'll, um, from a young age, you know, you'll see different places and that's what sport does, you know. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to meet other people uh, and hopefully in the in future it can, uh, can also assist you and help you further in life.